Let's talk about lathes for a minute. One of my favorite tools in the shop. Anything round you can true and make it perfect in a lathe. So that's what you're usually using it for. Um, this is the GH1640ZX. This is a geared head model, meaning it's got gears turning instead of a belt drive, which is good for schools and stuff. Um, and the main the way these are categorized is by their swing. And if you see, this is, has over an eight inch uh, radius, which means a 16 inch circle can fit into the lathe. So the size of that circle is how they kind of determine the swing. The other thing that they do is they want to talk about bore size. If you look inside, it's got a three and an eighth inch bore size, and that means three and a half inch tube can run all the way through. You can get a bigger piece in here, but as far as it goes all the way through the lathe in a long tube kind of thing, uh, three and an eighth inch. Uh, let's go ahead and show you how it works. Put in a little piece of aluminum, it's just for example. Try to keep out of the way of, so you can see. And then let's turn it on, show you how it works. So here's your tool holder. And I'm just gonna kind of spin it in. This is just an example piece. It's not really anything worthwhile. And you can see it's just cutting, truing it nice. Really fun, cool tool. Uh, the other thing this has, which is, which is good, it's got a break. So if you look down where my foot is, stops it. Uh, the more advanced models have that, which is handy. And then down here, I've got our coolant. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the coolant on. And that way you don't have to manually brush coolant on as you're cutting and really getting hot stuff going on. So that's nice. Um, over here, this is where you're going to plug in like a, a, a drill bit or an end piece. Like if you have a long rod that you want to center, you can put that in there as well. And then um, last but not least, you got your gears. So ABC, these are going to determine how fast you're running, whether you're in aluminum or steel. Uh, over here is where you switch your gears, A, B, C. And finally, uh, the Accurite um, digital readout. So you can come in and out, X is in and out, and Z would be left to right. And that way you can be really accurate. Wow, that's down to like 10,000, crazy. More accurate than I wanna be.